So for this next dish, I mean, all European countries from, you know, Norway to France, Portugal, Italy, we all have a salted cod dish. In fact, we have many salted cod dishes because it was a way of preserving cod, you know, eons ago. And it is a curing process with salt. So you salt it and you leave it drying for many days, usually about 21 day process. And then in order to um, get it to a cooking process, you need to have it sitting in water for a couple of days um, so that and you have to keep changing the water every two hours. Ours takes about three days because our cod is pretty thick, as you can see. So you have to do it, I'd say, two days tops, three days to get all the salt out. And so that is a process of soaking it in water and every two to three hours you remove the water and you put fresh cold water in. And then you have to leave it in the refrigerator so that it continues to take out the salt. So for this particular recipe, um, we are going to add the cod. Now this is, you have a million different ways to make cod. This is just one of those. Actually, I'm gonna move these aside because I wanna put the potatoes in first. So, take a potato and you're just going to cut it pretty thick, pretty thick slices because it's gonna take about 45 minutes to an hour to cook. And you want it to look a bit like that. So I would say about a quarter of an inch. So you're gonna throw in all your potatoes. And I like to lay the codfish on top of the potatoes so that it doesn't, just in case there's any burning, it doesn't catch to anything. So in this process, we're going to add a boatload of onions. And this does require a lot of onions, but most cod dishes have all these wonderful um, onions and garlic and all sort of aromatic spices. So you're gonna add all of the garlic. This is a whole sliced onion. This is a whole head of garlic, and you're going to need it. Believe me, you're going to need it. Throw that top. You're gonna to add an entire diced tomato, juice and all. You're also going to add these lovely green peppers that I've sliced fairly thin from what you can see here. So you're going to add those. This is a half of a green pepper, and this is a half of a red pepper. And you can see that this is really, really simple. You're just throwing everything on top. You're going to throw in, again, that crushed red pepper that I think is great. In this case, because we're doing two pieces of cod, I went with a heaping teaspoon of the crushed red pepper. One of my favorite things to use in this cod dish, and I have a ton of different cod dishes, but this is one of my favorites, is the smoked paprika. I absolutely love the way the cod has this smokiness in the sauce and it all comes from this little can of paprika. It's smoked, so it's very different. You wanna go sparingly, so a teaspoon of that. You're going to use about four bay leaves and I will tuck them in after I massage the cod. We're going to do tons of olive oil. You were probably gonna go with about a cup of olive oil, but you'll see why after you need that much. First of all, you have two giant pieces of cod that are pretty thick. You have all these onions and all these vegetables. You need something for all of this to cook in and marry together in. So you're looking at a good cup of olive oil. You'll see what it's gonna turn out like afterwards. And you're gonna need a glass of dry white wine. Just put that in. And then we're going to just make sure everything is in there, sort of like making it a bit. You are not going to need salt in this. And I'll tell you why, because the salted cod, when we do it for this particular dish, we leave it so that it still has a bit of salt. And when it's cooking, that salt will give way to the rest of it, and it will be plenty of salt. So this is ready. Usually, I don't put aluminum foil over it. I usually just go into the oven with it, and you'll see why, because it's gonna create a very nice caramelization on the top. You can see that that's got a great amount of juice on the bottom, and the oven is set at about 350 to 400, depending on your oven. You're gonna leave it there for about 45 minutes. So let's go get that in. I'll see you back here in about 45 minutes. All right, so our codfish should be ready. Just check on it. Oh, look at that bubbling up. Really beautiful. Beautiful, see the sauce, the garlic. 
as you can see, it's caramelized beautifully. And everything should be cooked. So the potatoes are underneath. I usually like to take this out and put it on a platter so we're not serving it out of here. You've got to see how thick this pot is. Look at this and look at all the layers in it. There's a bay leaf here. We can discard the bay leaf. We don't need that. There's the other piece of pod. Potatoes trying to sink in. Gorgeous layers. If you can, you can see that it's beautifully layered through, and the sauce is going to go on top of it. So here's our potatoes. I usually put the potatoes all down the center, beautifully cooked. All the sauce. Then we drizzle all of the garlic and the olive oil on top of this. And remember how I said it was going to make this amazing sauce? Well, look at all this sauce. I know it sounds like a lot when you say, well, a glass of wine, a whole glass of white wine, and a whole cup of the olive oil, but do you see how much it's created? And also some of the residual water that's in the codfish also gives way and helps to create this beautiful cod dish. So this is our unbelievably beautiful cod dish, which I think is fantastic. I hope that you enjoy these dishes and I hope you try these dishes because they are quite fantastic and you don't have to be Portuguese to enjoy them. Check me out on my social media and all the links are in the description. Thanks.